You may be expecting someone to introduce me, but I'm not like all the other guys. So, let me introduce myself. I'm Narco, top one player in the world for several seasons, and I'm risking my life teaching you how to become a pro player in a matter of days, giving you the most valuable tips and tricks you'll ever find. Sit down, relax, and enjoy. Hello ladies, hello gentlemen. So in this video, uh, before, right before jumping from the airplane, I put my mic on and, and I said, Narc is on board, everybody on the platform, eh? And I was almost regretting it, so let's see how this, how these things went. Now that guy, it's it's part of a competitive clan in here in Europe, so I didn't know at this point. But anyways, I thought I knew this was the right moment to rush, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because I already gave that guy some damage, and also he was distracted with the bot, and I'm assuming myself that the bot already gave him some damage as well, you know. So he got damage from both sides, from me and from the bot. And from the top in here, I can't see any other place around him. So, based on what I have on me, based on my vest level 3 and based on my HP, I think I'm superior to what that guy have. But I'm assuming he's a good player. And if he's not a good player, I'm assuming that he plays a lot COD Mobile because he invested and he bought that golden AK-47, whatever the name it is of that print. So I, I'm, I know I must take care with this guy, right? So I'm rushing him, thinking that he is at my level or even better than me. So 
So after I've killed this guy, I've heard somebody jumping behind me. Right, so it took me a few seconds to be like, hey mate, this, this is a competitive clan, so they will definitely try to rush me, even if it's one by one. They will try to rush me before anything else, before reviving his teammate or whatever else. You know, they're not normal players. So then is when I realized that and I turned back and this guy was actually rushing me. Here's the deal, I've knocked one down, I've knocked the second one down, I've seen a smoke bomber being used and, a, and I, I think that somebody was going to be reviving that smoke bomber. But shooting this guy, I definitely know this wasn't the one that just got revived, this, is, was, this was the smoke bomber or the fourth member of the squad. So I'm shooting this guy a little bit, I see that he doesn't get knocked down, I'm gonna leave him, I don't wanna spend time on him because his teammate can come and kill me even though he's still at 10 HP, even though he didn't heal up already, because that's what pro players do, pro players, when they are surrounded, when they need to fight, they don't, and you know, you get knocked down and you get revived they don't wait to use adrenaline and then to go and rush you they're gonna rush you straight away if you if you look at the wrong side you know so I did, in this case i was looking down to his teammate he could very well come on my left and knock me down you know and if, if and if not knock me down he could come and give me a certain amount of damage that make it more easy for his teammate to come and knock me down so i've decided to leave this one alone and go for the one that just got revived and knock him down again so I can deal easily with the with the other two left. Now you may have heard a motorcycle a bit before. I'm assuming that in that motorcycle was the last member of the of the scribe just killed before. And he came with a motorcycle, he picked up all the tags, he came all the way up in here, got the Zilman, got the helicopter and went away. So he he revived his teammates, he scanned the tags, got the helicopter and he got away. This is a smart move. This is a smart move. So I'm more than sure that this guy was 
part of the competitive clan. All right, let's move on. Those guys are not part of any competitive clan or stuff like that, but they they still have pain, you know, a headache to me. But what I wanted to show you here is that how that guy got distracted killing someone, I could very well, that could very well be me on that mountain being distracted with the smoke bomber and the guy that just got revived with 10 HP, he could just come and knock me down just like that, you know. So that's why I'm saying the uh, decision making is a very, very, very made. It's a very, very, very important thing in the game. You know, for you to win the match, man. That, that is, it is what it is. I've got shot by that guy again with AK-47 You see it's a golden AK-47 So those are people that spend money in the game And for you to spend money in something You have to like To invest your time on it, you know You have to enjoy what you do So you can invest money and enjoy it even more So this guy bought that AK-47 golden Whatever the name it is And uh, Give me a few shots, but what I'm trying to do in here is climbing the stone, climbing on top of this rock, but but not face to face to the rock. I'm trying to climb it on the side, or you can even climb it like backwards, you know. So that way, if you use adrenaline, you don't cancel, you don't cancel the healing process, you know. So you can still climb on top of what you want to do, what you want to climb for as long as it's not that high and you can still heal yourself or do whatever you want to do. I've heard, I've heard he has a shotgun, obviously. I've got lucky he didn't, he didn't kill me with one shot in there. I could heal and I got up on this truck, but this truck is almost destroyed. It's like one, two bullets away and it's done. I can't stay here too much. What I'm doing next, I just want him to spend some more bullets, you know, on me. And once he do that, if he doesn't switch weapons at the end, and he stops to reload and whatever, you know, that would be my time, that would be my moment to knock him down. Meanwhile, I'm trying to... I'm trying to survive. I'm trying to get this guy spend his bullets on me and hope he doesn't have a slider mode on that shotgun 
and he have to reload or switch weapons so that would be my moment to knock him down meanwhile i'm just trying to survive and there you go he stopped to reload and and he died what i would have done differently if i were him i may probably switch weapons and try to hit fire, you know, because it's no point for you to stop to reload because you won't gonna say, hey mate, stop, give me a second, let me reload my shotgun and then we start again, no, nobody gonna wait for you. So you just switch weapons and shot and if that, and if you miss that, all that full mag of your bullets on the guy again, that you should delete the car mobile and you should definitely play some Barbie or you should definitely learn more and watch some more tips and tricks or whatever things and improve your accuracy and then you come back and you play more Call Mobile. Now here you see a player flying down towards me and for some reason at some point that player disappears. That player, I don't know, he go to hell and he come back. I don't know, he just disappeared mate. So what I'm doing in this moment is shooting where I saw that he landed. Because at some point he has to come up from the hell. Right? So I'm shooting at that point where he landed. And when he came up, you know, I'm I'm already lasering him. So he had no chance, he had no time to react to that. Right? So be aware, there are people going to the hell and coming back. If you see them, that they land on you and they just disappear keep shooting even if you don't see them keep shooting at the place that you saw them landing because they will come back right and when they come back you laser them This guy just came back from the revival flight uh, and I thought mate if I'm gonna kill him now he will not be able to come back because there will not be another revival flight. He has nothing but a pistol to fight me, it's open field in here, it's not a threat for me, he will not find weapons right away to kill me so I, just, I decided to let him survive and see maybe we're gonna meet in the future in a little bit and fight each other. You guys know me by now that I'm not, I'm not into rushing like crazy, getting helicopters and just rushing into people without thinking, without being aware of what's going on around me or going for key records and stuff like that. That's not my gameplay. My gameplay is to win every single match. That's what I want to do. If I don't win a match, for me it's useless. For me, if I make, if I make 50 kills but I don't win the match, it's worth nothing for me but if i make two kills and i win the match that's a victory that's a win for me you know so that's that's my games that's my game style in this season it's like it's like when i'm going to play solo squads it's like i'm playing in a private room there are a lot of real players and good ones 
but I'm not saying good ones, only good, good ones. There are a lot of them, but mate, I'm playing in European server, you know, I've seen and I've been playing in some other servers. The only server I haven't played on was the Garena server, which I've heard that is a tough server as well. But beside that, European server, it's hell of a tough server mate, it's hard server. I play in United States, I play in uh, South America server, many servers, Asian servers, many. But I, I haven't found none of them as hard and as tough as European servers. Except the Garena, because I haven't played on it. But you guys, uh, you guys can say from my live streams as well. And you can say from this match as well, it's actually not an easy lobby. And as far as I know, that's my WhatsApp. And as far as I know, on Europe, uh, I haven't, I haven't seen or I'm not acknowledging any YouTuber making a world record, like killing 40, 50 players, or whatever is the world record right now. And I believe correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's because we have a lot of real players in here and I believe that they're killing each other very fast and that's not time for us to you know, to go in there and kill them it's either that or all the European continent it's uh, it's kind of a, you know, we are maybe we are bad players man, we can't make a world record I don't know, one of those two but so far I haven't seen any European YouTuber making world record because I think this is a tough server and in a tough server you can't make world records except you may be Spider-Man I don't know Man. Narco no No don't shoot don't shoot don't shoot Don't shoot Don't shoot Don't shoot man Don't shoot <laughs> Nice Heavy adrenaline for me. Thank you. Do you have an adrenaline, please? Thank you. <laughs> I was waiting for you, man. I was waiting. Let's fight them. Fucking tank. Only three, only three. He's a <laughs> Nice man, nice, nice. <laughs> I killed you once, I remember at at the at the at the duck with uh, with echo I think. <laughs> Do you want like this Can you speak? I need adrenaline, one sec Let's go 3, 2, 1, go
Let's and go, this let's victory go. goes to you, goes to your clan, goes to your country, mate. You earn my respect. Uh, thanks for being my fan oh, again, and it is what it is, mate. Guys, hope you all enjoyed it. If you want more videos with my voiceover, let me know. If not, we're gonna go back to the nice. other fancy British accent that we got before. Thank you very much for watching again and see you in the next video.